Buccaneers. Outside of the Buccaneers, you don't really have to see that many threats in this division of the NFC South because now that, you know, they got Baker Mayfield and they're trying to figure out if Baker Mayfield is 100% legit or not. But ultimately, whether he is legit or not, I mean, the Falcons, they have the missing piece that they've needed in Kirk Cousins and Michael Penix Jr. at quarterback. So that means weapons we didn't really see thrive over the past few years. They get to have themselves a year. Drake London gets to thrive. Kyle Pitts gets to thrive. Darnell Mooney gets to actually thrive. And then, oh, wait, did you even forget that the Falcons have some dominant running backs back there? Because those have been the guys who's been really carrying the offense over the past few years. You've been seeing B. John Robinson and Tyler Algier. Those boys have been balling, but now you can mix it up a little bit. So not only do you have to hand the football off and not only can you hand the football off, but you can also throw the football and you have a quarterback who can throw the ball more than 35 yards. Who can throw the ball, the ball more than 35 yards accurately. So easily for this division of the NFC South, I'm going with the Atlanta Falcons to go ahead and win, man. I think right now where they are, all the pieces are finally going to connect. They finally have weapons with a quarterback who can get them the ball in open space and make something happen. So there's some high hopes for the Atlanta Falcons in terms of winning the NFC South. But above all, they are the team to watch in that division. Now,